I just start a brand new installation of Anaconda and I'm going to walk you through the process of how to do stock like algo tray in Anaconda Jupyter Notebook. So first of all we have to install Anaconda. So let's go to your browser. Whoops. Anaconda installation. And then you go here. It's Anaconda website. Okay, and this one. Anaconda installer for Windows. Okay. So go to this website. Anaconda download. And then simply click Windows, Mac, or whatever. But in our case, I'm going to download Window. And I'm going to download the 3.6 version. This one. Yep. So it is this one, 3.5.1. So let me just save it. Yep. I have installed that before. So I'm going to use this one. Let me just remove the one that I just did. Okay. So I'm going back. Let's say if I have just downloaded that to my D drive. Let me double click it and start the installation. Oh. And let's click next. And then you agree. It's just me. It's okay. For a destination folder, I just pick D drive save to the just don't want the user. Let's see if I can just save it to Anaconda free. Click next. Okay. So just take that, leave it, and install. Okay, so it's completed, and then I click next, and take these two, and go on with finish. So, um, if you go to the start, and then you will see Anaconda 3. So when you click Jupyter Notebook, you will get to a place, okay, Let me click Jupyter Notebook. So you have to wait quite a long time, yeah. And it's going to launch the browser. As you can see, it's going to save your Jupyter Notebook in your root folder, which is here. Let me show you. So this one. C drive. Users. User. And then here. Let me zoom that in. So it's going to save in your root folder. But that's not what you want because I don't want to have you put a notebook files saving here right so let, let me, me just lock out this one and i have to lock out of the jupyter notebook this one by pressing the control c control c twice then it's going to close it so let's say i want my jupyter notebook saved in d drive let me just call so it. I just create a folder called my J notebook. So it's not all cap. And what I need to do is I go to window and a corner tree and then click and a corner prom. This one. So you have to wait. Then I navigate to my newly created folder, which is the, ah, I forgot the name. <laughs> Sorry. Just navigate here. Navigate to my D drive, my J notebook. So it, I just give it a name, it doesn't matter. So it's D drive, my J notebook. And then you can type Jupyter notebook and then press enter. Then it's going to generate the file. Let me go to my Jupyter notebook. As you can see, it's empty here, right? But I can create, let's say new, and then I click Python. Okay, so I'll just give it a name. Let's call it test notebook. And then rename. Then I can see the test notebook here creates a checkpoint. So that's basically the setup for the Jupyter notebook. For the next part, I'm going to show you how to restart it. Lock out. Leave the page. Close that. Close that and then control C, control C twice. And then here I just type exit and then I go. Let me 
close the window first. 